welcome to Fasting 444. This is an area where I like to start on occasion where potentially there could be multiple drops. I call it the thumbs up fist. I would be at the sleeve. That little dirt road on the mini map would be the thumb. And as the game starts, I wind up hearing a drop over on my left, so I will move over. I, I actually could have stayed here, and this is uh, southwest of the stadium, this area. I can see it's a Porsche McCann, and <laughs> I'm on the other side of all these buildings. I run into a tree. I definitely should have just stayed where I was at over on the left there, and came over to it, but I will start out with a level 3 Porsche McCann. Let's head over here. This is uh, the direction where potentially there could be other drops, I thought. I might find one, and I am so busy looking around, I run into that shed and decide I would use that as a point to turn around. There are cars on the map that direction. And I'd like to find a mid-level drop before I start engaging in head-to-heads. This doesn't always work out, but this is uh, my strategy. And it, it tends to work well. There are times where I wind up driving around, it seems like, aimlessly looking for a drop and hopefully that doesn't happen here car here let's get into a head-to-head -head with them let's cancel the driving around aimlessly they're just sitting there in a level four subaru and i thought the head-to-head -head may lead this direction so that was a good guess they are actually in a faster car, so I need to have a perfectly clean run here. Let's see, once I clear this, I will go to the left and head over towards the road that is along the reservoir. A lot of times I will go over on the right along the electrical power the tower line on the right there but this is a nice flat line so I will try this route so far so good and it looks like they are driving into the reservoir over there and I'm curious okay they're opening up the map they're going to quit just before I get to the finish so it doesn't show their gamer tag, which I have no problem with. That's fine. They knew they were going to lose. I will take their Subaru WRX and hop on this road that is on the south side of the reservoir, head west, and get on the road that leads through the tunnels across the suspension bridge. I think the final arena is going to be around Atlantis de Tula. I'll know after the arena shrinks and I open up the map. Let's see here. It hasn't shrunk. Now it has. Yes, the final arena is going to be around Atlantis de Tula. And I'm speeding this up a little bit. Um, it was mentioned that uh, I was speeding up head-to-heads and my subscribers mentioned that they liked the regular speed head-to-heads, but I am just driving around looking for drops here, so I'll speed this up. And here is a level 5 Bronco R. And this road over here leads around Cascade Falls and then over to Atlantis de Tula. Right there. As 
As I am heading over to Atlantis to Tula, I have to use some caution that no one is over here that engages with a head-to-head -head with me that is heading the direction of a head-to-head, -head, which would be over towards the village and road that is on the south side of the map. So that didn't happen, fortunately. I'll head over to the greenhouse area, I call this, glance at this drop. See, the arena is almost shrunk, so I'm just going to park over here. I see a car on the mini map. I'm hoping they come over and look at this drop and I can engage in a head to head with them. So I just got a mini buggy right about the time that that car disappeared on the mini map. So I don't know. It was coincidental they were driving away or they took that drop. I'll start heading over looking at these drops just in case this is a new drop that appeared that was a higher level drop. It is not. And I'm still not seeing anyone on the mini map yet. Now I do. So let's see if I can't engage in a head-to-head. -head. Here's these two cars heading away from where a head-to-head -head would lead. Here's a mini buggy. <laughs> That's the mini buggy I saw a while ago. Looks like they were being chased so I wound up just happening to run into them or they ran into me. Either way I will head over to this road that goes along the west side of Atlantis to Tula around all the trees and jump down towards the waterways that's downstream from the falls. Try and get through here without hitting too many of those. <laughs> Only one, not bad. It's still early. I'll slow down so I can maneuver through them. I have a large enough lead where this shouldn't be a problem beating them. We're on the road here and I will take a level six. What is this going to offer me here? Exoset. Okay. Definitely am going to need to get into something faster. The Exocet is a good off-road vehicle, but its top speed is not very high. It's definitely lacking. Turbo Bobby just got into a level 10. I'm a gaming friend and subscriber. Very good player as well. So I am going to head back to this suspension bridge and I will hang out around here. There is a head-to-head -head that leads back towards that dirt road that kind of leads over towards Cascade Falls. Not the exact one, but the head-to-head -head would go from here. The way that curved dirt road that was on the edge of the next arena there. All the way on this road. So hopefully someone comes towards me in a higher level car or faster. And I want to try to stay in motion so I am not invisible on the mini map. And here comes someone right at me. Oh, they wind up ramming me. <laughs> yeah, it almost knocked me off the bridge. Well played. But they are they are going off the suspension bridge. That is <laughs> a loss for them. And I will take their Nissan GTR if I get this in in time. Yeah, I should be able to. 
the arena is going to shrink and I will have enough time to beat them before the arena shrinks. So yeah, I just follow this road. You can see on the mini map that dirt road that this has a bend in it. That is where I want to follow. Oh, I should have been on the dirt road. I hit some logs, I think, there. Now a tree. Come on, let's go, let's go. I have enough time to complete this. The arena is still shrinking. This worked out perfect. The Nissan GTR has near level 10 speeds, just in time. Head to heads complete. Get ready for the final showdown. Final shot, 30 seconds. Because of the terrain in this area, this is a short distance to the exit. This is Arena 9. The range of time to leave is 11 to 13 seconds. I will leave it 13 seconds. An online gaming friend and a subscriber, Turbo Bobby, is in the Hoonigan RS200. Final showdown in three, two, one, go! Looks like the finish is west of the stadium. I like to take this road, slowing down through this turn, avoiding the trees that are on the right. Slow down so I don't overshoot it and go into the trees on the left. My normal route is between the greenhouses, sometimes even the left edge of the left greenhouse, but I make a split second decision to go left of the greenhouse. And the next point on the mini map is a H shaped pattern of dirt roads. I want to be on the left edge of that H, and right when I get to here, I hit this tractor and now I remember why I want those other two routes. I'll remember the next time. Now over the highway, slow down a little bit so I don't flip or roll. It looks like that's what happened to Turbo Bobby. He spun out, but he winds up coming back and passes me. Now when I see that the finish is west of this road in this intersection here. I need to take a direct route in between the trees and try and get through here cleanly. This is going to be close. I might have this. I'm not sure if I missed the pin. Wow, that surprises me. I thought I missed the pin. Good game, Turbo Bobby. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy all my videos. And if you're not a subscriber, I need your help. I'm trying to get my channel to grow. So just click that link on the bottom right.